Now that we've talked about the arrangement or everything that you can see on the on the screen here, I'd like to show you a few more tools that you'll be using quite often. The first tool I'd like to introduce you to is the mute tool here. By clicking on the parts, you just mute them. That's how it works. So the drums have been muted. tool I'd like to show you is, is the speaker symbol. With the speaker symbol you can audition the parts. Even muted parts can be auditioned. And you might be able to quickly figure out whether this is the melody part, or the harmony part, or the bass part or the drum part. This is useful if you, for example, um, have got the parts in the same colour and you didn't use the names. Now it becomes difficult to find out what's what or what's in the parts, so you can quickly audition them. The speaker symbol works for the audio files as well. But in order to show you what, what how it works on an audio file, I need to quickly set up an audio track for you. Here's the mix down of, of the song, which I've just quickly created. And here's the resulting audio file of the mix down. Let's solo this track and um, give it a listen. file is um, muted basically and with the speaker symbol you can then um, easily just monitor little bits of the um, recording for example you could um, monitor the beginning part and all I'm doing is I just um, click into the um, recording with my um, mouse you can't scroll with the speaker See the audio just carries on playing. The next and last tool for now is the magnifying tool. The magnifying tool is straightforward. You just click into your arrangement and it magnifies it. And if you keep your fingers pressed on control, it turns into um, a minus sign and then it gradually zooms out. Zoom in again. And zoom out. You can also select um, select an area, let's say you want to wanna check out those bits there. Now those bits are um, magnified and if you want to have a look at the um, WAV file down here then the WAV file is magnified. Sometimes you want to keep the view like this fairly fairly small so that you can see everything but you still want to um, be able to have a look at what's happening in a certain track. So you can magnify tracks by themselves. So you can see what's going on in here. And also if you wanted to keep an eye on the, um, the banjo pad. Now you can see these MIDI elements a little bit clearer compared to down there. By the way, this always works from the bottom end of the track. So if I'm at the top of the mix down, for example, the um, the empty banjo track would be the one to become larger, a mix down track.
One of my favorite tools is the so-called section tool, which you can find down here. With this tool, it's very, very easy to get hold of a few parts and then move them or copy them across and so on. Let's say I want to copy the, the very last bar of the, of the whole arrangement, let's say this bar here. The, um, the typical or the classical way to do it would be to select all of these parts, get the scissors, all of them at the same time, get the mouse pointer again, select them all, and then move them. Now with my other tool, I can do this a lot faster just by picking up the tool, selecting the parts which I want, and moving them across. If I find that there is a really good part down here some, somewhere, and I want to make copies of this part, which I want to use in the song later on, then I can just, let's say I'll copy those two bars, just get hold of them like this, press Alt, and then drag those two parts into my new, or into an empty section of the arrangement. And here I've got copies of these bits here cut out without ha having to go through cutting the parts and then copying them as well. Just try it for yourself, this tool is fantastic. You can pick up anything you like and copy it, press Alt of course, and then move it across to create a copy of, of a certain area in your arrangement which sounds particularly good.